Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yasu's Universe. It's me, Yasu. This is going to be your total lunar eclipse reading. These messages should be quick. I believe it's called the um, flower blood moon or the, the blood moon. And we'll see what's coming in, what's going out for you guys. We'll start with Aries, all the way down to Pisces. Aries, you could be dealing with the Libra as soon as I split the deck. Okay. Holy Spirit, all the angels keep me safe as I go with the next one. I'm going to send in on negativity. Know if the next one begins to share prosper. I'll show you. This is for Aries. All right, Aries. Okay, show the world the real you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Your hard work is paying off. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. At the bottom, have faith in your dreams, Aquarius. So these are the, some things that's coming in, what's going out for you. Show the world the real you. Your hard work is paying off. So being your truest, authentic self is really paying off. Okay, two fell out. Start reclaiming who you truly are. So I believe this um, eclipse is going to really help you reclaim who you truly are. Then we have souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together. So if you are worried about um, whether you and another person will be back together, the person that you belong with, you will always be together. You will always find your soulmate. You will always find your twin flame, whatever you believe in. If you're meant to be together, you will always find each other. Okay, I picked up the deck and you're at the bottom, Aries. So please know that that is confirmation. Okay, so justice, exactly. You could be dealing with the Libra. I said that in the beginning. So things are going to be made right. Things are going to be made fair. Just show the world the real you. Continue doing what you're doing. Your hard work is paying off. Spirit has your back. Good karma as well. So start reclaiming who you truly are. And the souls that belong to each other. We'll always find their way back together. Rest in assured, okay? This is all I have for you, Aries. Moving on to Taurus. Take time to breathe out, Taurus. So you probably need some time to rest and relax. Conclusions are within reach. So spirit is saying that you need to be in a good state of mind, a good state mentally, physically, spiritually, energetically for these conclusions, for these truths to come out. You and your loved ones are safe, okay? Could be dealing with the cancer. Meditate, breathe out. Get some time to yourself. Harmony is pure love. For love is comfort. I'm sorry. Harmony is pure love for love is complete agreement. Okay. Love is complete agreement. So the person you're supposed to be with, the people you're supposed to be with, supposed to be har harmony in complete agreement. It's supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be natural. It's supposed to just flow with these people or this person. This is for Taurus. Yeah, two of pentacles. And then we have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. It's too much um, not knowing, indecision, needing to make up your mind, needing to get balanced. Also, there could be people in your life, in your energy, who don't um, compliment you, who don't, um, who aren't on your level. You may be being unequally yoked right now. So this is what's going on, Taurus, what's coming in and what's going out. You're taking time to breathe out, no longer unequally yoked. You have these conclusions coming within reach, and it's going to help smooth the journey, especially with the certain people coming in or leaving your life. Harmony is pure love. So love is harmony. Love is complete agreement. How can two walk together lest they agree, okay? Gemini. I cut the deck and there you are, the lovers. 
So a lot of um, confirmation for people. All right, Gemini. Here you are. The answers you need are coming. It's all within you. Full moon and Gemini. You have the answers. The answers you need are coming. The end of a tough cycle, excuse me, the end of a tough cycle approaches. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Surrender to the divine, Gemini. Nothing will come of this situation. So go ahead and surrender it. Whatever you need to surrender, whoever you need to surrender. Surrender it to the divine. The answers you need are coming. Conclusions are within reach. So the answer on who you need to let go of, who you need to bring in, that's coming. So make sure... You're ready for the end of this cycle. Don't pick it back up again. Just surrender it to the divine because nothing will come of this situation, okay? Gemini. Love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. Spirit is um, gonna be asking you to love yourself a lot more in this season. Hey man came out you could be dealing with the pisces but now is the time for rest now is the time for sacrifice now is the time to end those things that need to be ended now is the time to surrender to the to the divine because nothing will come of this situation self-love radical acceptance the answers you need are coming in this state as well so be open to the answers be open to loving yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you because you loving yourself is going to start manifesting and attracting the person you're meant to be with so what's coming in and going out is you're surrendering to the divine letting go of the things that just are dead dead situations the end of a tough cycle is coming for you and you're going to be receiving answers Cancer. Don't let your past hold you back, Cancer. a time for healing so you're healing from the past removing the past releasing the past not letting the past hold you back the end the end of a tough cycle is approaching for everybody almost every sign has got this thus far okay the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected i'm sorry let me read it again the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. So you possibly have had a hard time with the past, letting the past hold you back. In this season, you're not letting the past hold you back anymore. You're healing from the past. You're letting things go. You're becoming better, smarter, wiser, faster, stronger. Okay? And you're just realizing yes it may be harder to let some things some people places situations go but spirit is saying don't let your past hold you back yeah exactly yeah and then we have the knight of swords one of the fastest nights and then one of the slowest nights so it's like one minute you're ready one minute you take a step back to think one minute you're ready one minute you think you take a step back to think spirit says you're ready don't let your past hold you back this is your self note you're not living in your self note anymore so this eclipse is going to remove any blockages, gonna push you forward. It's gonna help you separate from the people, places, things you need to separate and ultimately heal, okay? Leo. Leo. There you go right there, Leo. As soon as I called you, you came. <laughs> Leo. A time to give rather than take. You could be dealing with a Virgo. The end of a tough cycle approaches for you as well. 
take time to breathe out. Cancer just got this. Was that Cancer or Gemini? One of them. But take time to breathe out, Leo. Your commitment is being tested. Your commitment to loving yourself, to moving forward, moving on, being better, a better person, a better version of yourself. Hold on. Okay, cool. Okay, Leo. Don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you, Leo. So Leo is no longer afraid of losing people who don't want them. Leo, if they don't want you, don't be afraid to lose them. You're not losing them. You're removing them from your life, from your energy, from wasting your time. Get those people out your space. The people who don't want you don't deserve you, Leo. Okay? Don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. So I feel like it's time to give yourself love. Give yourself a chance. Give yourself a break. We have time to breathe out. The Ace of Pentacles. Give yourself that chance. Okay? Could be dealing with the Libra. But Spirit is saying, I got you, Leo. I got you. You may be helping someone out as well. Ace of Pentacles right here. So, Spirit is giving. Spirit is loving. Spirit is helping you get stable, grounded, solid. Spirit is helping you um, ease the burden, ease the stress, get rid of the tension. Okay? Time to give rather than take. So maybe you are giving to someone. Maybe you are giving. I feel like this is you being more vulnerable as well. Because Leo just wait. I feel like Leo, you've just been waiting for people to show you who they are. Waiting for people to give you something solid. Waiting for people to um, do what they need to do in your life. Maybe Spirit is saying, Leo, um, open up. Start giving more of yourself in a healthy way to attract the people you want. So don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. Okay, Leo? Time to breathe out. Relax. Rest. Virgo. Bring love into the situation. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. I believe Aries got this card. Be bold and make the first move as well. So bring love in the situation and be bold and make the first move. Have faith in your dreams. So it's time for you to go ahead and instead of following your dreams, your dreams are following you. Okay, take what it is that you want to do, who it is you want to be, wherever you go. Time for you to be bold and make the first move. Bring more love into the situation. That way you can receive more love as well. This is for Virgo. The hottest love has the coldest end. Okay. Maybe this may be a message for somebody. The hottest love has the coldest end. So maybe... Don't let passion be the driving force and factor in your love life, in your relationships, because you need logic, stability, reliability, patience, kindness, not just passion. The hottest love has the coldest end. So maybe spirit wants you to heal. Yeah, we got the ten of swords at the bottom. Spirit wants you to heal from the old patterns, the old cycles, and bring more love not more passion bring more love genuine love yeah five of cups the hottest love has the coldest ends so bring more love into yourself now's the time to really 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 heal be bold make the first move in healing loving yourself being genuine vulnerable loving not just sexy not just passionate not just coming with the good d or coming with the good v okay Really change some things up, Virgo. So this Five of Cups symbolizes the need to heal as well. So that's what's coming in. What's going out is these short-lived connections, if you're ready. So be bold to make the first move. Bring more love into your life and your situations. 
Libra. Conclusions are within reach, Libra. It's time to take action. You can be dealing with an Aries. And nothing is yet set in stone. So take action. Um, you haven't been that you haven't been given a definite yes or a definite no. Nothing is yet set in stone. So take action. Be bold and make the first move. There are some conclusions that's gonna help you take this action as well. You're going to reach conclusions. That's going to help you take action, okay? Y'all got a lot coming out. Adventure awaits. Go find it. Adventure awaits. Go find it. Time to take action, okay? So now is a really good time for you to be more active, make the first moves. We have two fives right here. A lot of change. Five of swords, five of cups. Who is this? Libra. The queen of cups. Beautiful energy with the sun at the bottom. Yeah, you're going to have a lot more fun. Be loving yourself. Really focusing on your looks. Um, focusing on your gifts, your psychic abilities. Really nurturing yourself. You're going to be very intuitive on these actions that you're supposed to take, whatever it is you're supposed to say or do. Spirit is leading you. Your intuition is leading you. Oh, my God. Oops, sorry. I done kicked the down. Look, the King of Cups. Here's your soulmate right here. What's between you and your happiness and your relationship is fun. The sun, healing, newness, completeness. A brand new journey, okay? This is beautiful energy. You're going to be with your partner, with your one. Nothing is yet set in stone. So nothing is yet set in stone in your love, life, career, finances. You can have what you want, okay? Spirit says adventure awaits. Go find it. Go find your adventure. Go have some fun. Nothing is yet set in stone. The conclusions is within reach. This is, y'all got the best reading out of everybody. Okay, that was Libra moving on. Scorpio. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Balance, spirituality, and practicality. You can be dealing with the Pisces. Be bold and make the first move. Didn't Libra just get this? Luck is on your side. Now is a very lucky time. Luck is on your side. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Spirit has your back. If you just balance and incorporate. Okay. Now is a very lucky time. Are you dealing with the Pisces or a Sagittarius? Everything you need, your courage, strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within you. Everything you need, everything you need is already within you. Okay? So, no more looking outside yourself. Everything you need is already for you. This is for Scorpio. That wants to come out. The Ace of Swords, the truth, clarity. Being able to see things clearly. Being able to make decisions. Okay? Having that clear vision to balance everything out. Having that clear vision on how to make the first move. When, where, why, how. Okay? And everything you need, you're looking with, within yourself. It's like you're putting a mirror up to yourself, meditating, focusing, channeling. It's already within you. Now is the time for clarity and truth. So make sure you balance and get ready because you're going to need to be physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, energetically able and fit to handle, you know, these decisions, this clarity. Whatever it is that's coming to you, okay? And everything you need is within you. Now is a lucky time. Spirit is saying you, you're not going to be living in lack. 
So you're going to have everything you need. Remember that. You're going to have what you need. Spirit, is gonna, Spirit isn't going to leave you hanging. Spirit isn't going to send you in, uh, in there blindly or unprepared is what I'm hearing. You're going to be well prepared. Sagittarius. Don't let your past hold you back. Okay. I think Cancer got this. Step out of your comfort zone. Wow. So you have South Node and North Node. So you're not letting your past hold you back anymore. You're stepping out of your South Node and stepping into your North Node. Okay. Stepping out of your comfort zone. Your North Node may not be comfortable, but this is the path you're supposed to be on. And then you are good enough, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but you are good enough. Wow, beautiful. What do you have for Sagittarius? What do you have for Sagittarius? Let things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace and carry on, Sagittarius. Let these things come and go. Stay calm. Don't let anything disturb your peace. Carry on. So you stepping out of your comfort zone, things may be changed. Things may be removed. Things may be rearranged, but stay calm. Step out of your comfort zone. Carry on, okay? This is for Sagittarius. Oh, the Ace of Wands. Now is a very prominent time for you. Passionate, sexy. <laughs> Y'all know what the Ace of Wands means. So, I feel like now is going to be the time and this is fire energy as well Sagittarius so you're going to be feeling even more like yourself a little more um fiery a little more emotional maybe a little more um compelling compassionate I hear a little even a little more aggressive is what I hear communication travel passions projects as well so step out of your comfort zone you're ready Capricorn. Okay. The end of a tough cycle approaches. This is your energy. Full moon and Capricorn. Step out of your comfort zone. Okay. Sagittarius just got this. Have faith in your dreams. You can do what you want to. You can do what you set your mind to do. Have faith in your dreams. Your imagination and your dreams can become reality. They already are. You just got to get do it. That's it. Just got to do it. This is the Capricorn. Thank you. The reason it hurts so much to lose. I'm sorry. The reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. I believe cancer got this. What messages do you have for Capricorn? Wow, the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. So if you lost someone, I do see you are, You will be meeting new love and new soulmate. This is a gift that's going to make you emotionally happy for stepping out of your comfort zone and following your North Node, the true path you're supposed to be on. This tough cycle is over. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So maybe... You're done with the separation. You're done with the heartache and pain. Like, do you see this card? So now it's time for new love, self-love, pouring into yourself. Gifts. I hear vacation as well. So what's leaving your life is the tough cycle. What's coming in is you're stepping into your north node, removing the past pain, and finally healing from separating, being 
being okay with being separated and living your life. Okay, time to live again. Beautiful. Aquarius. What do you need to release, Aquarius? So what's leaving your life or things that you need to release? Spirit is asking you to come up to these conclusions. Asking you what you need to release. And be bold to make the first move and release them. Have those conversations, okay? Make those moves. Make those choices. Because Spirit is saying, we're waiting on you. We're just waiting for, for you to tell us. Tell us what you want us to do. Spirit says, what do you need to release, Aquarius? Your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them, Aquarius. So possibly releasing fear and bringing in more courage into your life, Aquarius. That's why Spirit is saying, be bold. Make the first move. You need courage to be bold. Courage to make the first move. This is for Aquarius. The chariot. There it is. Be bold and make the first move. You could be dealing with the cancer. Your dreams can come true. If you have the courage to pursue them, you're pursuing your dreams. You're releasing doubt, releasing fear, releasing negativity, releasing anything that's stopping you from being you, releasing anything that's stopping you from moving forward taking charge, taking direction, okay? Releasing instability because the chariot needs control and direction. So you're charging forward to pursue your dreams. This is beautiful energy, Aquarius. So the eclipse is gonna really give you that push that you need and helping you release because when you move forward, I feel like all of those things need to be dropped off. Don't carry those that baggage either. Beautiful. Okay, Pisces. Pisces. What do you have for Pisces, please? You are very close to achieving your goal. You just got to step out of your comfort zone and follow your north node. And don't let pride get in your way. You could be dealing with the Leo. At the bottom, the energy is gaining momentum, Pisces. So you're close to achieving your goal. You're stepping out of your comfort zone and following your north node. And you're being more humble. You're not letting pride get in your way. Um, but you do still want to maintain your, do y'all hear that? The ground is rumbling and shaking. I checked the weather. It didn't say anything about no, no rain or storm. Okay. What was I saying? Pisces, um, you're very close to achieving your goal. You're stepping out of your comfort zone and following your north node. And you are doing it with grace instead of pride. You're doing it with charisma. You're doing it with, um, with ease. This is for Pisces. Take a leap of faith into the unknown. Yeah, beautiful energy. You're very close to achieving your goal. You're stepping out of your comfort zone and taking a leap of faith into the unknown. All right, this is for Pisces. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Leo. Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus, but you're 
taking a leap of faith into the unknown and really creating the foundation for yourself. The page is just the first ever, you know, building block to create that solid foundation. You can build on top of the page because the page can build into the the ace, the two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to the 10, you know, things like that. So I'm getting, you could be dealing with the Leo Virgo cuss, but um, I'm seeing that you're going to have the resources you need when you take this leap of faith. Don't let pride get in your way and making decisions when it comes to your money, stability, you know, your image as well. Because the Page of Pentacles, I feel like you could you could possibly be trying to prove yourself. Don't give a fuck about proving yourself, okay? You got this. Spirit got you. And you can build on top of um, whatever it is that you have. I see the Midas touch, okay? So this is all I have for you, Pisces. I'm going to do a collective reading and we will be out of here. What do you have for my collective? What do you have for the collective? What's coming in? What's going out for the collective on this eclipse? What's this eclipse doing for my collective? Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Give me one more. Okay, that's what I was feeling. Collective. So, and then we have the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We have the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups, then the Chariot. Out of Pentacles, the Fool. So I'm seeing Collective. Spirit is saying it's going to, yes, it did take some time. For some of you, it may take longer than others. Some of you, it may happen overnight. Some of you, it may take a couple of days, a couple of weeks. But don't get complacent with the Four of Cups. You're literally manifesting your best life, transforming into the highest version of yourself. So don't get antsy. Don't get aggravated. Don't get agitated. Don't try to manipulate the outcome either. You may not be able to see it right now. You could if you wanted to. So Spirit is also saying... Stop. Um, whenever you see something not going your way, whenever you um, get a little spoiled or <laughs> want it this way or that way, don't just cover your eyes to it. Spirit is saying, try seeing it from my perspective a little more. Spirit is saying, start trying to see it on the grand scheme of things a little bit more. Start trying to practice a little more patience. And Spirit is also saying, if you close your eyes to what it is that you're asking me for, Spirit is going to close their eyes too. Okay? Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Conclusions are within reach. So you're going to be receiving some conclusions. A lot of you are turning into the Empress. Some of you are already the Empress. And Spirit is letting you reflect and bask in your glory and things like that. So you could be dealing with that Libra or a Gemini, any water sign, air sign. But Spirit is saying... Keep up the good work as well is what I heard, Collective. So this eclipse is really going to help you come up with those conclusions. Get the answers that you need. It's also giving you, I hear superpowers. A lot of you are going to be manifestation pros. Like you're going to feel like you have a superpower. So make sure you don't get in your head and close off your gift, okay? Yeah, have y'all seen X-Men? Do y'all know Charles Xavier, the uh, telepath who had to be in the wheelchair? His powers were so strong that it um, made him stop being able to walk. So you have to also realize how strong your gifts are. Don't let them hinder you either is what I'm hearing, okay? Some of you may not watch X-Men, but yeah. What does it say? Life is art. Paint your dreams, sing your songs, enjoy the dance collective. This is beautiful energy. This is all I have for you. You can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation. Book a personal reading with me. Check the description box. Um, donate to the channel. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, and also my GoFundMe. That'll really help me. I'm not working currently, but I love you all. Y'all be safe until I see you again. Check out all of your other All Signs readings. I have 
three all signs readings for you. Um, one is a Friday the 13th reading. The other one is a you versus them reading. And another one is a secret reading that I will put in the, the, the comment box and the description box. You just click the link and you'll be able to get a free secret reading from me. It's an all signs reading that's time stamped as well. Until I see you all again, y'all be safe. Bye-bye.